What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Jordan and we have a lot of fun on my channel so I would absolutely love it if you joined the fam. We also just hit 10k and we do have a giveaway going on right now so you don't want to miss out on that. As stated by the title and hence why you've clicked on today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some of the pieces that I bought when I went shopping recently. I bought way, 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 way too many things, but I haven't been shopping like this in a very long time and I haven't gotten new fall or winter pieces in so long, almost like two years, because last fall and winter I was actually living in the Caribbean on a cruise ship. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> Needless to say, I got a lot of new fall and winter pieces that I am so excited about. I got a lot of really amazing deals. So I thought that we would sit down, do a haul because I like watching hauls, I like filming hauls, and you guys seem to love clothing hauls as well. So we've got some clothes, we've got some accessories, we've got some shoes. Yeah. So before we hop into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Make sure to follow all my socials. I'll have them down below as per usual. Also check out my 10K giveaway if you have not entered that already. I will have that below as well. Without further ado, let's get on into it. We have a lot to get through. So typically when I film a haul, I usually do it store to store. I group it like that. But today we're gonna switch it up and I'm going to show you guys everything based on category. So I wanna start with tops. Believe it or not, I've actually needed to buy some new sweaters because I used to have a plethora and then I got rid of a bunch because I just had way too many. So I got rid of a ton and now I'm kind of lacking in the sweater department. So I picked up a few. So the first one I got is actually this like muted green turtleneck. It's so soft and cozy. As you can see, it's like a more subtle green. It's not like really in your face. It's not 100% like an army green, but I really, really like this color. I think it's super unique and I definitely don't have any sweaters in this color. The turtleneck is always a go-to. I am the big fan of turtlenecks. Even though I'm a summer gal, I love turtleneck season. So I got this one from H&M and it's so cozy. I've already worn it a few times and I just love it. And I think I got this for like $12. I picked up another sweater, but this one is actually from American Eagle, and it's just this cream knit sweater. It's your basic, like, knitted sweater. I think probably everyone has this in your closet. It's just such a staple to have, and this color goes with anything. You could, you know, wear it basic with a pair of denim, or you could spice it up with, like, a little popped collar underneath. Whatever your heart desires, you could do a turtleneck underneath this. And I like the cut of it because it's a little bit shorter in the front than the back. I just like that it lays a little bit higher when I am wearing a pair of jeans because I am like a high-waisted gal through and through. So I like to either, you know, do like a little mini French tuck in the front or you can just leave it hanging. It's stunning. It's really comfortable. And I got this for $9.99. Like, can you believe it? Sweater for $9.99. The next sweater I picked up is actually just a black sweater, which nobody should be surprised about because I love my black. Half of my closet is black. It's actually like this V-neck, which I think is really cool because it's the V-neck on the front and the back, which adds a nice little detail. It's not as chunky and as thick as the previous sweater I showed. What I do love so much about this is that you can tuck it completely into a pair of jeans if you want. You can wear it out, but I like to tuck this in and it does lay really flat so you don't have like a bulge in your jeans or your pants, if you know what I mean. And also with this neckline, you can pop it off the shoulder like I have right now if you wish if you want to wear like a cute bralette underneath you can you know get a little something something and it looks really cute oh also that black sweater is from h&m so moving on to the last sweater i picked up this is also from h&m and it actually is a wool and a alpaca blend which i didn't know or realize till i got home so this is just what it looks like it's like this gray light heather gray almost i have a feeling it might be a little bit itchy because it is wool but it's humongous like i got a size small and it's just such a wide cut which i'm so excited about i love oversized things and i think this will be perfect with leggings this sweater isn't so much to like show off my body it's just really cozy and something really easy to throw on on a day when you're feeling lazy and you don't really want to put together an outfit and this one was on sale for 7.99 which 
I call a bargain. Moving on now, something I've been wanting for a very long time is an oversized crew neck or pullover, and I just haven't had any luck. Every time I'm in the women's section, they're just never fitting how I want them to be. Because as a rule, women's cut is usually more fitted, but I did pick up a really nice large pullover crew neck from the men's section at Forever 21, and it's just this like emerald green, more of like a forest green, if you will. It's humongous, guys. It goes down to mid-thigh, and I'm so excited about it. It's so comfy. 10 out of 10 recommend. I did get a size small because, you know, the men's sizes go much larger than the women's. I did pick up two jackets. The first one is more of like a raincoat or like a windbreaker, if you will. And this one I got from Forever 21 as well. It is black, again, no surprise. It's quite loud, as you can see, um, but it's really cute. It does remind me of like the 80s, just the cut of it and the style. Not much to say about this. I just don't really have any windbreakers in my closet. And this was only $5 on clearance. So was I planning on going into the store looking for one? No, but it was there, it was $5 and it's cute. So, you know, when life gives you lemons. And then the other jacket I got, I cannot wait to wear. It's not cold enough yet to wear it, but give it a couple weeks in Buffalo and we'll have snow. So it's just this like teddy bear coat, if you will. It's super furry and it's so heavy guys. Like it's an arm workout alone, just holding it up with my left arm, but it does have buttons in the front and it is really long. So it goes down to almost my knees, which will keep me nice and warm in the winter months. I got this one from American Eagle. This usually retails for, I'm gonna say like, a hundred dollars and I got it for $24.99 because nothing in the store was above $25. So this was something I definitely needed because I did rip a hole in the armpit of my winter coat previously. Moving on to like shirts and blouses, I do have a few to share with you. So the first one that I got is, I wanna say quite trendy right now. I don't have anything like it in my closet and I do think it's a beautiful color for the fall season. So it's just this like cinched blouse, if you will. It has two little strings down the front that do ruche up and I think it gives a really nice detail. The fabric itself is ribbed, which is really nice. It adds a little something something to just a plain shirt. And this is from Forever 21. It also does have that like square neckline, which I am a huge fan of. I think it's so flattering. And I just think that I can style this a bunch of different ways. This is a really, really great color, like I said, for fall, and it goes nice with my hair and my skin tone. So I do think I will be getting a lot of use out of this. Also from Forever 21, I picked up this like muted mint green blouse. Again, it is like a ribbed cotton material, which is so comfy for the fall time. It's long sleeve and it does wrap over in the front, kind of like a wrap sweater, but not quite. It does have a wider band at the bottom, which is really nice. It hugs your body nice, but doesn't like suffocate you. And I will have to pin this because I don't have cleavage to fill out the crossing over, um, but that's totally okay. It looks really cute on, and this is a bit cropped, so if you are someone who wears like low rise or mid rise even, um, your belly might be showing a little bit, but I wear high rise, so. I picked up another top from Forever 21, and this one is similar to the previous one, but this one is a true wrap sweater, so it's just like this cream color, and again, it has that same like wrap detailing, but this one actually has two long straps on either side that you can wrap around your body. You can either tie it in the front, the back, the side, whatever your heart desires. I think this one is so flattering on as well. I actually did wear this to Ellicottville a couple weekends ago. Again, another really great staple to have in your fall wardrobe. Now I did pick up one bodysuit. I am a big fan of bodysuits and this one is a little bit more like going out kind of ritzy-ish bodysuit, if you will. It's not like an everyday look. I just thought this might be really pretty for the holidays or if we have any type of occasion that I might need to dress up. I don't really know. It's just this black bodysuit. It is lace and it is a high neck, which I love. More of like a, almost like a mock neck. In the middle, there is a panel of just plain black fabric that will go over a little boobs. 
And then at the bottom, it just snaps, you know, pretty, pretty standard. But all in all, I think this is really, really cute. It's hard to show when I'm just holding it like this, but it is so stunning on. I did end up picking up another top, but this one is way different than the previous. This is actually 100% nylon, but it does have this really fun, bright embroidery. It's like neon colored embroidery, and I just thought it was like such a unique piece. I like to find these unique pieces because I do have a lot of staples and you know classic pieces in my closet that I can style differently and wear over and over again like a bunch of different ways but I do also like to have these pieces that nobody else will have. I'm just excited about this. This is just a fun piece to have and uh, play around with. Believe it or not, we are moving on to bottoms, so I did pick up a pair of pants. I am stoked about these. I have absolutely nothing like these in my closet, and I know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day, but I don't listen to the rules when it comes to fashion. Every other rule I, I follow, who am I kidding? But so I just got these straight leg pants. They are more of like a dress pant. I cannot think of the exact term, but these pants do have like a metal belt loop so you can adjust how tight or loose you want it, which is really, really nice. This is a high-waisted fit and I just think this looks so classy. Even this with that black lace bodysuit would be to die for. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this for smart casual, business casual, or just, you know, going out for dinner and wanting to look bougie. <laughs> I am a huge fan of skirts. I love wearing skirts in all seasons. So I just got another black one. This one is like a midi skirt. It does have this ruching right on the side, and then it has a big slit on the left side, which I think is so fun and so spicy. It like really, brings it to the next level, if you will. And I was a little bit skeptical if it would fit me or not because I wasn't able to try anything on, but it fits me perfectly and I cannot wait to style this. I did pick up another skirt from Forever 21 and it is another midi skirt. That has just been my thing lately. I'm in love with midi skirts and this one is more of like a peach color. Again, it's the same fabric as the previous skirt, but this is just your most basic midi skirt. So this is a midi skirt. It does go a little bit longer on me because I'm so short, but I just love the color. The last skirt I picked up from Forever 21 is something that I will not be wearing until the summer or until I get my job back in the Caribbean. And it's just this like hot pink coral skirt. It is a wrap skirt and it actually is like a real wrap skirt. It's not an imitation. So it does have the button here and then it just wraps and ties on the side. This was $9 and it is very flattering. It is like triple layered, I wanna say. It has like three layers to it, so super flowy, super fun. Love it. I did pick up one dress on my shopping trip, but I won't be wearing this anytime soon either since it is a summer dress, but the sale was too good to pass up. So I just got this like baby blue floral print wrap dress. It flows so beautifully when you walk and it fits me perfectly. It's like. It was meant to be. It is an extra small and it was the only one in Gap. I did pick this up from Gap and it was on clearance for $7. So I could not pass up a deal like that. I did pick up two pairs of denim. The first one that I'm showing you guys, I did not intend on buying when I went into it because I certainly didn't need it, but I did find these amazing mom shorts from H&M for $8.99, or I think they were actually $7.99, but I don't have any shorts in this cut and I just love the mom jean and mom shorts look. They're just folded over at the bottom and they're high-waisted, of course. And then I did find an incredible pair of jeans from Express. These are just a skinny jean and they do have some distressing down the legs. They were also distressed at the bottom, but they were a little bit long on me, so I just decided to cut them. And when I put them in the wash, they will distress on their own but these fit me beautifully and these are high-waisted as well. I think that's all the clothes I got, so now we're gonna move on to accessories and I did get two pairs of shoes, so I've actually been needing a new pair of white Vans slip-ons. I do already have a pair of them and I love them, but they are extremely stained, so I just figured it was time to buy a new pair because I tried to bleach them, didn't really work, so I did get these just, you know, basic white slide-on Vans, love them to death. They are such a perfect go-to shoe. And then they were having a sale, buy one, get one 50% off. And I found the coolest pair of shoes I think I own ever. 
So they are these Vans high tops, but they have the world map on them, which is like so perfect for me. It's like meant to be. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So each side looks a little bit different. And on the bottom, they say save our planet. These are made of recycled materials, which is incredible so yeah i'm just like i cannot wait to wear these it's been raining the last week so i haven't been able to yet but i got these for 15 dollars like are you joking moving on to the next accessory i did pick up just your standard beanie this is like a burnt orangish red color almost like a rust color if you will i don't have a lot of beanies and i think these are great to have for the fall and winter especially when you're not in the mood to do your hair keeps your head warm and gets rid of whatever's going on up there and then i am a huge fan of like silk scarves or head scarves so i just picked up this one from forever 21 it's like this tan color and it has white polka dots and you can wear these a bunch of different ways. I actually have a video showing you how many different ways you can wear it, but I just wanted to add another one that's more neutral to my collection. We have come to the final item of this haul, and it is something I have been scouting out for literally two years, like I'm not exaggerating. I've been wanting a pair of clip-on hoop earrings because my one hole is so low that I cannot wear earrings anymore. So there were a specific set of mini gold hoops from Claire's that I have been looking for for two years. They don't sell it online and every time I go into store it's sold out. But the last time I was shopping, they literally had one left in the Claire's at the mall I was at. So I immediately bought them. I actually have them on right now, if you can see. You can't even tell that they're clip-ons. Um, and they do come with two other size hoops as well. I don't like big hoops on me. I just don't think that it suits me. This was such a successful trip. I got so many amazing pieces that I'm so excited about. I've already worn a few and I just can't wait to style them more and yeah if you guys want to see another fall lookbook or like fall outfits of the week let me know. I can definitely film that for you because fashion is one of those things I just love. It's a passion of mine. Thank you so much for watching today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and turn on the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I post every Monday and Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, but I do sometimes throw in like a bonus video on Wednesdays. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I love you guys to the moon and back. Again, make sure to go check out my 10K giveaway if you have not entered already. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye, guys.